Hey YouTube, welcome to Let's Play DOSBox. No, 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 we're not, we're not playing DOSBox. We're gonna, we're gonna play a PC game for my next LP. It's in my Towers directory. Hmm, I wonder what game that could be. Well, let's just type Towers and see what happens. It says do not distribute. Okay, registered version. No, don't distribute it. Starting Mystic Towers. Ooh, this game is not share where I actually have the full version. Apogee means action. Don't forget. Welcome to Let's Play Mystic Towers, a Baron Bolger game. I suppose we better just start up with the story, so everyone knows what's going on. Oh, here are those fancy speaker graphics. And sound. The speaker sound. Baron Baldrick receives a deputation from Rim Village. Yeah, we play an old guy in this game. We beg you to destroy the evil monsters in these Lazarine Towers. Rim, Turakarad, Norskar, Wolvesden, Evan Scarp, and Marchwall. Only you can wield the wolf magic of your ancestors to free the land. Reluctantly, Baldrick calls up the magic Lazarine staff. There is dangerous work ahead. Tower, Baldrick is ready to fulfill his quest. Good luck! Let's get started. Uh, you can play this game in the instructions and stuff. It says you can play it. You can play with a mouse, you can play with a, 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 a joystick if you want. A joystick control pad if you want. I prefer the keyboard. So we got six tower we have twelve towers to go through in the total cycle. Well, let's do it. Welcome to Rim Tower. Okay, so you can use the control pads, uh, control keys to move around. Uh, let's step on this question mark here, which is a little hint. The only way out again is by killing all the monsters and destroying the generator to obtain the large red tower exit key. Okay, there's a lot of stuff on the screen here to see, so let's see if I can explain it. Okay, you got your life bar on the right side of the screen, that little heart thing. You got your meat and your water on the... Actually, can I pause this? Whoops, no, I forgot that was... Oh, P, right, right. Press P to pause. Actually, I don't like that spot. Wait, wait, wait. Let me pause over here. Okay. Let me see if I can explain what we see on the screen here. Okay, on the right side of the screen, you see my my life bar, which is that uh, red bar with the heart below it. If that goes to zero, I die. On the very left side of the screen, you see my meat and my water supplies, and I hate it when it goes dim like that. Oh, this is really goes wrong. Uh, lives. I only have nine lives throughout the entire game, so once those are all gone, I'm done. Uh, we see the number of monsters in the upper right corner, 15, uh, next to the lives. There's 15 monsters in this area. Uh, press the control, control, and I can pick stuff up. That was some money. See down there in the lower left, I have five money. I have a spell. I now have the Venom Cloud spell. Uh, also, going through this... Wait, let me go through space here and show you what I got in my inventory. I have the Ice spell. Sulfur, I don't have any. You have unlimited ice, I have no sulfurs, eight venom clouds, no fireballs, no lightnings, no reveal spells, no healing spells, no teleport, no levitates, no bombs. This little platform and that keyhole over there are probably the most important thing. Once all the monsters are destroyed, and the generator destroyed in this tower, a key will spawn here, and I'll grab the key, put it in the lock, and exit the tower. Easy enough. Uh, I see a map in the lower right corner, uh, backspace to pull, alt to jump. It's pretty straightforward, I think, for controls. There's an apple to restore my food. Ow, I got bombed. Sulfur magic, heal spell. Don't grab that bottle, that's poison. Don't grab that. Oh, we got our first monster. Zap. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. And you see his life bar next to the monster's rating. Occasionally, Baron does something by himself. To use the teleport pad, select teleport spell and stand in the center of the pad. Then use the action to trigger the spell. Oh, the control. Control, basically. We got him! And he left some... Oh, we pushed an object. You can push an object by walking into it and use backspace to pull an object. Don't eat that mushroom, by the way, you will die. It is poison. But you can eat the mushroom when you are poisoned to undo poison. So 
basically this game is about exploration of all the tower and grabbing all the items and stuff. This is telling me that when all the monsters are destroyed, I'll see a flashing key symbol in the monsters in the monster square up there. In the upper right. There's also staff power you can see. I ow. I hit a trap. Oh, here's another monster. Good idea to try to zap monsters from a distance. All the spells have more, are long distance shot spells like what I was doing there. Let's drink some water. Let's flip the switch here. There we go. Step on this. There are four keys. Yellow, blue, red, and green. Try to collect all four. Uh, see... Okay, see the lower left corner where my coins are? Just below that, you're going to see four black boxes. That's where the keys will be if I've grabbed any keys. They'll fill up those spots. Also, you see a depiction of a red tower right there. Each, there are five floors in each of the Lozarine Towers that I'm going to go through, and when a tower clears, that floor will go gray on the map, letting me know that there's no more monsters. When I've cleared all the monsters out. Oh, ooh, treasure. I believe my staff power is affected by the number of spell charges I have. Because all these things I'm picking up, like, that's spell charges of the sulfur magic. And some monsters are affected more by certain spells than others. And now we're going to go upstairs. You notice the first floor is going gray. There are no monsters left. So we're doing green. Take some water. Let's open the door. I like this isometric view. I used to play this game all the time when I was a kid. I love this game. Now you see there's a monster in the upper right corner, which means he could appear in this room. If I, like, stand right here, though, he can't actually enter the room. Actually, he can't anyway, because the door is barring him. There he is. Ow, ow, ow. Those monsters will fight back. They have power and they know how to use it. Venom Cloud is a little bit stronger than Sulfur. Don't be afraid to use it. Use this lever, open the door. A reveal spell shows hidden poison tiles, lights lamps, or shows secret doors and objects. Look for the eye rune. The spell shot is not used if nothing is found. A spell shot is not used if nothing is found. Ah! Oh, treasure. Die. I'm gonna go ahead and record. Uh, no, I, I'll just record each section like I usually do. Okay. I got too many. You can only carry 50 shots at max of each type of spell charge, so I must have too many. Also, using the numeric keys on the top of the keyboard, you can quickly access any of the things in your spell list. Like, ice is one, then two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I haven't explained what the bomb does yet, but we'll get to that soon enough. Oh, and there's a red key. We got a red key. idol, there is a coin slot which allows you to buy weapon spells. The higher the tower floor, the stronger the spell. This one will dispense uh, sulfur spells. Observe. You have to use your coins. Unfortunately, I have too, too much sulfur already. Okay, I think we're going to stop it right here. Next time, we'll continue the Tim continue Rim Tower. This is Firewizard23. I'll see you then. Take care, and bye-bye for now.